Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak your iPad and pretty much your iPhone 4 also, anything running your 4.21 software. So first off, we're going to just pop in Google, jailbreak 4.21, and that's the most recent Apple update. Uh, to find out the version of your uh, iPhone or iPod or iPad, just want to go to your, let's see, your general settings, go to your general, and then go to your about, and it should be right under your version right there. So first off, we'll click here. This is the tethered version, so that means when you uh, have to reboot your iPhone or iPad, you're going to have to connect it to your computer to turn it on. It's not a big deal. You, I don't reboot my iPad too much, so it's not really a big hassle. So first off, you're going to want to download two files. You want to just scroll down here, and I have a Mac, so you download the Red Snow. This is the actual jailbreak. Then you want to also go here and download your actual 4.21 software. Even though you have 4.21 already updated through iTunes, you want this actual file. So I would pick iPad and okay. So you pretty much only need two files, Red Snow for your Mac, and this is for my iPad. And whatever you have, it'll say iPod or whatever. All right after you have those two. You're going to want to open Red Snow. And you want to browse for the specific software that we just downloaded. And you want to push open. And it's processing. And once that's done, you push next. And this is the same process you do if every time you reboot your iPad. But if you're rebooting your iPad, you would just click this. You wouldn't need to install Cydia every time. So for the first install, you push Cydia. All right, so if you haven't already, just connect your iPad or your iPhone. You just push Next. And they'll remind you again right here. Just turn it off. Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure it's off. And then you push Next. And you actually get, get ready to hold your, um, your power button on top. So just make sure you're getting ready to do that. Now, now you're trying to put your iPad or iPhone into DFU mode, and that's how you're able to jailbreak it. So right now you want to hold the power button for two seconds, and then, I'm sorry, yeah, and then your home button together. And then when it's over, you want to let go of your power button and just hold your home button. And if you do this right, around this time right now, your it will load a screen on your iPad iPhone or iPad and you'll see a little pineapple instead of your Apple logo and just let the jailbreak do the rest of the work and alright so now with City installed you just want to turn on your iPad okay and just do that and first off you have Cydia which is right there and the first application you probably want to install is called Installus. And it's pretty much the app store on iTunes. And you pretty much get to download all the apps for free. So let's see. So what you want to look for is you want to go to your sources. And you want to go to, sorry, sources. You want to go to edit. And then you want to go to add right up here. So once you're done adding, you actually want to add this website right here. Uh, it's called hacula.us into this. And once you add that, you're able to find. Let's see. Once you click on Acula right there, you can just scroll down to install this, which is right there. And yep, and I have install this installed. Sorry, it's all shaky, but there's install this. 
And once you have it downloaded, it'll be right on your home page right there. Okay, I'll just give you a quick, brief rundown. So pretty much these are all application, books, business, education. You just search anything. Popular maybe is, uh, let's see, plants versus zombies. Okay, so just download the first one, which is made for the iPad. You just click download, and it's just like that. In your settings, you can just set to only show iPad apps. And you want to make sure iTunes Sync is on, because when you um, connect it to your computer, you don't want um, iTunes to delete all your purchase apps. So that tricks iTunes to make believe that you already purchased the apps. So yeah, these are all the little things. Every single app you can get. I have a bunch of apps right here. Just to show you guys. Right there. And some right there. Yeah, and that's uh, pretty much it. Alright, thanks for watching.